Hello and welcome back to Master of Orion, where in the last episode we finally colonized all planets in our little quadrant. And now let's continue with the craziness, I guess. And uh, build our colonies up some more. Uh, by building stuff like uh, robo miners and can generate more money by that and core waste dumps of course and let's not forget research so basically everything to some extent you probably also need some uh, gravity generators and at the, in a moment robo miners and then core waste and then government support facilities sure who wants orders all right you got the satellite good for you after that you can go here and also install a satellite there I just want to have eyes on what's going on here. Apparently the Sakura haven't decided to colonize anything here. I mean, the worlds here aren't really that great. I'm not going there because this would basically um, be strategically not very good because there's the, the pirate base here that I could just wipe out and that somebody actually did wipe out. Nope, never mind that. I could actually make a planet here and then, and then, and then, and then colonize the system. And I guess I could expand further, like down here, and then I would have a defense. I would have to set up a defense at these two points and down here. So I would be at like th three possible points of entry at that point. Um, right now I have sort of two because one is down here in the system and uh, another one is here, but they are in the same system, though they are technically two points of ingress. But um, I'll just keep it at how it is now. Just saying that I could think about expanding down here but there's really nothing going on right here which I don't like and the planets down here are not really that interesting with a volcanic and abundant but gold and barren abundant and nothing medium, medium barren abundant and gold they have potential no doubt about that but the Sakawa seem to be unwilling to, to commit to any e expansion down here which I should take as a hint that uh, it's not maybe worth as much there's also a system right back here on the other side of the wormhole so technically there's more room to expand, but um, I'm, I'm wondering why, this, why the Sakura aren't, aren't just expanding there, because they, they could deal with it. But uh, apparently the AI just hates uh, colonizing worlds that are, uh, that are that have harsh climates for some reason. They're also at war with, with the Cylon, what the frick is going on there? They're basically at war with everybody. Is, that is, what, is, what the game trying to, is, is probably what the game is trying to tell me there. So choose production, um, robo miners. You already got that for some reason. Good for you. Uh, how many workers do you have? Possible four. Uh, you're already at Terran, so hmm. not entirely sold on the neutron collider. Uh, all right, that's it. Just, just just build one and have a hollow simulator. Sure. Oh, another troop transport. Okay, you can join our collection of troop transports over there. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, this is our former production... This is still our, our production center that... Uh, uh, that right now even started to, get, uh, to, to, to be able to, to produce food because they just uh, terraformed to Arid. Uh, let me actually just... Uh, Shift that one up to farmer because then they generate food and then they would grow further, which I'd like. But I'll, pr I'll keep the rest at working because, sure, I'd like them to have more people, but I'd also like them to produce more stuff. So I'm also gonna build that, and I guess you can also produce armor barracks. Do I'd like another battleship to be honest? Build another battleship, please, and then you can build armor barracks. Sure, I should also take a look at my designs to upgrade them. To be honest, let's actually do that. Um, let's install the better computer. Did we get a better? Yes, we got better armor. We didn't get better drives, but we also didn't get better shields. I'll just keep the rest. Or was there anything interesting that we got in the meantime? Well, the shield capacitor maybe because it helps. Not a structure analyzer actually. Let's take the structure analyzer. No damage with beam weapons should be great. So let's actually take that. I, 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 I take it back. I'll be taking that. Um, I have a little bit of space left, but I don't think I'll add another weapon slot. 
Not sure why that is slot five because I already have five slots equipped with weapons. That doesn't doesn't really doesn't really matter. But they're not point defense. Not sure why the uh, but why the uh, in combat menu shows them as point defense, but they're not point defense weapons. They're auto fire, and they also seem to work as auto fire weapons should. So that's 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 something. Let me just get, add some more weapons here, and then we're done. Good for you. So and let's also change the destroyers around a little bit again let's improve the computers improve the armor i'll keep them at reinforced hull and not give them any more special special systems because i think space is good for them and uh, they can do their point defense job uh, good good enough by just uh, having that i like them to have reinforced sources so that they don't die too quickly at the point when we get hard shields, I might actually just equip them with hard, sh with hard shields instead, but um, right now I think they'll be fine with how they are. Didn't get better weapons, I think. I didn't check if we actually got better weapons to just uh, change the weapons around, but uh, let's just keep it at this. Alright. Do I want to upgrade my battleships? Oh yeah. I just might. Yes. Uh, you're not doing anything. Build robo miners. Oh, there's an, an, another interesting building that just uh, that we just got apparently, which is the Astro University, which uh, gives us a plus three bonus per res uh, plus three research bonus per cell. There is a there is a downside to that though because it's what what the, what the game is called system unique, which means that each system, like here in the Volantis system, I can only install one university. Which I would probably do here, because this this planet is already pretty developed. Sure, it will not grow much further, so if I do that, I should actually just uh, reduce the amount of farmers, because they don't need the food for anything else here. So let's just, just switch that around. And then I could have some people working on the Astro University. Um, or in the Astro University, however you want to call that. Uh, what are the other systems big? I mean... Especially the deconstructed planets will be better planets eventually. Yeah, I mean, they will eventually be huge, Terran, and abundant, which is strictly better than uh, Volantis Prime is. But it'll take a while for them to get there. So I actually, I think it's worth to just build the university here now because they are already there, and sure the others will ov will overshadow them at some point. But right now they're pretty fine. So let's keep it at that. Uh, let's, let, let me also just go through every system and think about where I want to build an Astro University. This is medium Terran, this is large Terran, so you're probably the one who wants to build the Astro University here. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough money to speed that up, but keep keep, keep it going. Um, this is also medium, t also a similar argument to what I just made in Volantis would apply here, because here is Soul Prime. Technically, we'll get overshadowed by the other planet at some point, but not right now. So let's put the Astro University here too, and um, barracks. Sure. Here, the decision is pretty easy because there's only one planet here, so uh, you can you can build the Astro University as much as you like. Uh, Obakas, uh, that what that planet is huge, and it's the most developed planet here. So let's actually just build it here. Also the waste dump you need and holo sim. Actually, my planets do have something to do right now, which I like. Um, in Ramond, actually nothing is bigger than Ramond 4. That has the same size, but it's not developed. So let's also build the Astro University here. You also get some money because I like you guys here. So let's build the Astro University there. In Jenga, yes, this one is medium only. This one is large. It would actually be weird to build an Astro University on a volcanic planet. Because the um, the amount of people that can live here will never increase by much. So um, we're going to build it here eventually. But though that planet isn't very much developed right now. So there's, there, there's that to consider. But you're going to get the Astro University here at some point, I guess. So let me just set up a queue here with Robo Miners. Uh, core waste and before I forget that I wanted to build it here, you can build it here. 
So Volantis I've already been. I think Elysia is the only one that I haven't assigned a usage university yet. Uh, yeah, technically this one would be the best. Elysia 3 is already developed though, so... Hmm. But it's small. That's, that's, that's what I really don't like here because it's really long term. It will not be the best. Uh, I could throw some money to get them to finish their stuff later, uh, earlier, I guess. So let's just throw the Astro University in here and worry about that later. So that's that. There, there will be more considerations like that coming up later in the game where you would have to think about where you want to construct something, uh, something special. And you should really think about that and not just uh, try to construct it everywhere because you can only do this once per system. So pick a place where this is most relevant. Uh, Alright. Mm, da -da -da. You, don't, you already have cleaning, right? You already have core waste dumps, I, 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 I meant. Yeah, that's already on the queue, right? Uh, Robo... Do you already have core waste dump? No, then build one. Put this, put that, put that shit. And you should be busy a while, alright. I wonder if the pirate base will show up somewhere again, because it was destroyed here. There's still a few systems where nobody's living down here, so maybe it'll show up again there somewhere, but... For now, it's the, the, the pirate threat has been dealt with. Not that, there were, not, not that, that they were much of a threat to begin with, but they, they've been dealt for now. Alright. You also want to have something to do. I can appreciate that. That's good. Robo miners, go waste, holo sim. No, I can also have a neutron collider, I guess. And that uh, you can also have someone plant food because you'll not grow further. Though you technically don't need it right now, unless un until you do the next level of terraforming. So never mind that. You just have the problem of being small. That's a bad problem to be small. I know. Well, I don't actually. I'm I'm tall, but uh, that's that's totally beside the point. Uh, marine barracks. You can also have a star base here. Mm, yes, you're the guys who want to build an astro university because you have the biggest planet. You know that's that's why you build universities, not where uh, it's most prestigious or anything. You just build it where where they would be most relevant, right? That's how that works. Okay, a few planets have grown. Nothing was done this this turn. Very sad. Nothing was built. Anyway, uh, someone built a holo simulator at least. Kind of nice. All right, there's still stuff in queue. It's actually kind of nice to not having to give orders. Just everybody has something to do, and subspace physics research was done. Uh, now we can build an additional interesting system unique building, which is the jump gate. Basically the jump gate uh, forms a, a connection between planets where we build jump gates that the ships can use to just go f go uh, this direct way instead of going all this uh, detour with the uh, warp point routes and all that stuff. Which, if you have a bigger empire, Definitely makes your ships being able to go faster from one point to the other. So I'll be building jump gates uh, basically everywhere in every system at least once. There's also some considerations we made on where you're gonna build it, but I'm probably gonna build it where where there's the most developed planet because it doesn't really matter that much. Because yes, your your ships will always come out at the planet where the jump gate is and not somewhere else. But unless you really have to defend a specific planet, then it doesn't really matter. So that's that. Subspace communications just increases our command points by a fixed amount. This doesn't give us a plus three, it will actually give us much more because this is basically a command point for every a space station that we have. So space stations generate points by themselves and then get additional points based on um, based on our our communications level, which used to be plus two because we had, uh, what was the one before that, Tachyon communications I think. So now we get a plus three bonus, so it's not just a flat out plus three bonus as you might think, but it's a plus three per each uh, star base or uh, space installation around planet. 
Okay, you still you still have plans? It's good. Oh well, la la. Here you can build a jump gate if you don't have anything better to do, really. And let's also get a radiation shield, just because I said radiation shields look 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 cool on round planets. So let's just be crazy and build them any everywhere. You don't really need it, I think, but you never know what happens. Alright. Why are you not growing further? Oh, you're volcanic, small and poor. That's just, that's sort of bad. <laughs> that translates to bad, bad, and well, it could be worse, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> Alright. Let's just call this planet, Planet Shithole. Because that's basically what it is. And now, the news. Tragedy with a silver lining. A minor quake hit a human colony. Infrastructure was damaged, but no casualties have been reported. Yet. Volantis 4. Who's Volantis 4? You guys are. Okay. So I guess uh, I'm gonna have to build some installations here again. At some point. Well, you can just wait here. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? You want new things to do. How much food do you have, by the way? You already have enough uh, food production to sustain the next level, so I guess you don't really need to build fungal farms. I guess building the... Um, what was the name of that again? Wait. I want to try to get a point across here. No, not, the, not that one. The subterranean farms here actually was a mistake because you can't plant food here anyway. And the plus two food bonus you can also just get by constructing the fungal farm. Which uh, does have a maintenance cost of two and not four. So technically it would have been just better to just uh, build them and not the other one. That was a mistake. I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm capable enough to, uh, to, to um, acknowledge my mistakes when I do them. Not saying this was a flawless playthrough, but everything went pretty smoothly, I think. So, but if you disagree, then uh, of course I'll welcome your input. But I acknowledge that there was a mistake here, not building that. It's a small one, though. Oh, you got a new, you got a new fleet of sentinels ready. That's good. How many do we have here? Three. How many do we have here? Uh. Five. Let's actually make that an even split. So let's get three here and no. Let's get two here and three up top. Then it's not an even even split, but um, it's getting closer to an even split. And down here we just have the frigate. Let's just um, well we have an early warning system around here. So um, if someone should attack us from down here, I should have a heads up warning. So I think I can get away with having less defense there. Alright, you finish the subterranean farms, right, then get robo miners and core waste dump, I guess, and then the usual beneficiary stuff, right, good, what are, what are you doing by the way, your name, the next battleship is still coming, right, it's good, once you're done with all that, please build a jump gate and um, how's your morale looking, 95, it can be improved. And I think you also need some terraforming coming up because you'll be going to the population cap pretty pretty soon. Well, pretty soon is like in 20, 30 turns or something, but... Oh joy, another council meeting. Let's again skip through that because I don't think anything interesting is going to happen. I'll just be... Slightly amused by the amount of votes that I that that I have. Total votes is like 370, and uh, we have like 170 to cast. Okay. I forsake my vote. Good to know. Yes, 
We're getting to almost 50% of the total voting power at this point. Which is good. Um, la la la. Space Academy, yeah, not ever, I think we got that by uh, recent research. Um, it says the Space Academy trains Marines, giving them experience before they ever engage in actual combat. Doesn't reduce the count of it, aiding with all troops. This would benefit a lot by giving any numbers and not just the description. Because does that mean if I have a Space Academy somewhere and then I construct um, troop transports there, then the troop transport Marines there would be better in the randomly calculated planets, which I still feel like they are too random for their own good. I guess that's what this is doing, but I'm really not sure. Maybe, I, I mean, in the in the past game it used to increase the experience level of ships, but ships don't really have any experience level at all at the moment, so um, it probably doesn't do that, but uh, I think if it actually does as advertised and it's actually worth building this because uh, having additional percentages for your marines is helpful. Is it worth the two maintenance everywhere so j just on the rare on the rare coincidence that you ever gonna build troop transports there? Maybe not but I think I'm doing pretty fine with the amount of uh, money that I get and in the long run I'll get even more because of uh, research that will be done soon so I guess I could get away with building space factories but um, I'll be doing something else first. I'm actually going to build steep cool, deep, deep sea cooling first. And I'll then think about that some more. You also got the espionage training facility, which, because spies haven't been implemented, is really not helpful at all. But there's, there's, there's always going to be that. Uh, you don't really need to do anything else right now, I feel. Well, then you come back to me in three turns and ask, well, we don't want something to do, please. Okay, I guess you can build a space academy and um, tube transport. I'm not entirely sure if they work as advertised though, because you don't really see any numbers in ground combat anyway, so that's, uh, that, that always leaves me with... Uh, this combat was really random, so... Um, did, it, did, did, did the space academy help? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So there I would really appreciate having more numbers so that I can see the effects, because right now I really... I doubt it, it'll work, and that is never a good feeling if you think that like, oh, maybe this building really doesn't do anything at all. So, that should be changed. Alright. You have, you have, what? How did that happen? Alright, get the, get the battleship out and then you can get, get, get going on the core waste dump before the plant gets over polluted. Alright, you're gonna join the northern part of the fleet. There's also gonna be another battleship coming out of Jinga, so that'll then join the southern fleet. Alright, um, since this planet is pretty small, I'm not gonna be building a space academy here because they'll probably not be able to build uh, troop transports anyway because they don't have enough uh, marines on the planet anyway to actually fill a complete ship so that's why I can't build them because they, they only have five uh, so that's that that's that um, I'm still gonna be building armor barracks here though just just in case you never know but technically I also doubt their value if, if under the assumption that you're not gonna get attacked on your planets which I think at this point in the game with the amount of ships that I have and, and the, the technological advantage that I have is a pretty safe assumption you're building that, right? Good. Everything's everything's fine. So now there's still there's still pollution there, but it, the pollution will reduce every turn instead of increasing now. So that they're they're, they're 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 great. They're doing great. So you want orders? Um. Hmm. There's no jump gate in the system yet, so. I'd like to build it on the other planet though, no offense. So you're gonna just build that and you're big enough so I guess you can build a space academy and troop transports. And uh, then I guess you're gonna build deep sea cooling. I don't really need it but it's better than doing nothing I think. I'm gonna build it. you're still building the university, good good good. Then you're gonna build the jump gate and then the deep sea cooling. 
And you're also going to be building the Interplanetary Administration. Basically what this building does is it gives you one planet in the system that can be sort of the target for an export of food and population production of the other planets in the system. Which I'm going to be abusing in this system a lot. Yeah, so we're going to be building an inter Interplanetary Administration here. And then whenever the other planets in the system, like this one, who's, who's of similar of similar development already, whenever they don't have anything to do, I can just tell them to uh, just send your stuff over there. And there's actually going to be a neat uh, sort of fleet of ships that that, that that will go around here, and basically then the planet here can can take all of the all of the additional production to do something, which really helps to build the bigger ships. So that's what this this system is going to be doing, and why I have all this stuff on this planet, even though it's uh, it's ultra poor. But it's big, so that's that's sort of its main selling point of, of, of that planet. It's it's a big planet. Anyway, so we're gonna see more of that in a minute. Okay, production. Uh, okay, can do some robo miners. Armor barracks, I guess. And you're big enough. You're small, no, but you don't even have any marines. <clears throat> so. I guess you just go on terraform a little. No, seems seems like seems reasonable. Mm, oh, you just build a troop transport, right? You also can't see if if there's any special bonus to the troop transport. You can't really see it because you don't see any research bonus or or some so, something saying they were built on a space academy and they are better marines or something. So. That's always going to be that problem. I think the game does a really good job at giving you additional information in most places, but there's also some places where the game would benefit a lot by getting additional information to you as a player so you can make an informed decision. Talking about that, there's another systems unique building now, which is the planetary stock exchange, which gives us plus two BC per population. So again, I will pro probably build it in every system, but uh, always, but, but, but again, choose the biggest planet so that I can get the most mileage out of it. And advanced city planning gives us plus five tiles. Not sure what tiles means. It doesn't mean population maximum. It just means tiles. Not entirely sure. Maybe it gives you more options to just uh, do a very uh, single targeted I industry on some planets. Because sometimes you're limited by the number of tiles that you have. If you want to do a planet just for production purposes or something. So maybe that is that. Maybe it's helping out a little bit with that. I don't think it's just it, it just straight up increases your population limit by five everywhere because that would be slightly overpowered, just slightly to be honest. Um, did you get to multi-phased physics? You didn't. I'd actually like to have multi-phased physics. Oops, nope. Uh, la la la. What do I want? What do I want? Um, let's actually get better weapons now. But first, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get a better drive, and the hyperface. Yeah, I'm not sure if they actually work. But let's actually go go, go and get these two technologies first. All right, you don't have anything to do either, so you can get a stock exchange though. Why don't you have a stock ex? No, what? This is, wait. This is the new one. Oops, my bad. Uh, your medium Terran. The other one was large Terran. Okay, so I apologize. You're not gonna get the stock exchange. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Um, yes, you don't have anything worthwhile to do though. So, I guess what we could do, really, is make you into an, in, 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 into another uh, ship production planet by installing an elev in space elevator and interplanetary administration here. And then you could continue building ships. Sometimes with the help of the other planet in the system. There is only one other planet here, but the other planet is pretty decent, so I think it's still worth the uh, additional BC cost. But you're going to be building a, uh, that, that, the university. You're also going to be building a stock exchange. And that, and that. And once you're done with that, you can maybe send your production to the other one. Okay, again here, I could also think about installing interplanetary administration here though I technically probably won't need it everywhere but you're big enough for marines so you're gonna have that and you can also do or you don't probably just did that um do I want to make the same argument that you're already developed to yeah guess I will 
You're also gonna build a stock exchange here because you're the most developed planet here and the other ones will st still take a while to actually get there and so getting the money earlier would actually be worth it in my book. Alright, go here. GNN, Galactic News Network. And now, the state of the galaxy. Current rankings of diplomatic affinity. I'm not sure how I got more diplomatic scores since the last time this was evaluated because I didn't really talk to anybody the last like 50 turns. So maybe it's just because I still have diplomatic relations with some people like having an embassy and other stuff. Also, I have a non aggression pact and uh, open border treaty with Borathi and the uh, Sakra. Maybe that also helps me. But um, again, I'm not really sure what this uh, what this rating actually does. And nobody likes me. Some of some are just afraid. Like the Mershan and the Akari are actually afraid that I could just wipe them out if I had the if if I had an interest in doing that. Um, which would actually be fun. I could just I could just talk to them and ask for technology and, and that stuff. Which the AI never fails to do. But I think it's sort of, um, well, not so nice. So I'm, I'm not going to be doing that. But I'm just saying, I could go to them and and, and, and ask them, Here, you want to give me some technology or else. Um, but um, it's really not my thing. So I'll just uh, keep it at how it is. I'll just keep it real, you know. <clears throat> so you've done that so you can also build a stock exchange and a jump gate I probably don't need ships to go here but if I produce ships here like the troop transport then they can take a shortcut to get out of here and not take the not take all the way around so that's that's also nice and you're also going to be building a planetary stock exchange and a jump gate after this one and you can also terraform sure What are you doing? You're still working on Astro University, sure. High energy distribution is finished. Time, um, this is actually a weird choice. Let's first rule out the energy absorber because it's an interesting concept. If any ship that has this subsystem basically gets the ability to absorb part of the incoming damage and then fire it back at the enemy which is a cool concept no doubt but I don't think it's a very effective concept so I'll not be taking that. Um, and then there's the high energy focus which is a subsystem that increases the energy weapon damage by 50% which is actually kind of a lot. And there's the mega fluxes. Mega fluxes just plain out increase ship space everywhere you don't even have to add them as a ship subsystems. So it's a really tough choice because more space means more weapons so also more weapons with uh, more, more, more weapons more damage with energy weapons and often the amount of subsystems that you can install actually limits you a lot more than the space so while I think a high energy focus would be interesting to have as with my sort of energy weapon damage stuff I think I actually benefit from the mega fluxes almost as much and if I build ships that uh, do, that don't want to focus on energy weapons the mega, the mega fluxes is just strictly better so I'm going to be taking mega fluxes. All right. <clears throat> you still have something to do. Good. Why my why is my income plummeting? I guess it's because of all the structure upkeep and I don't have any any uh, any treaties going on in that so Guess I can't spend money right now, but uh, as soon as the um, as soon as the new buildings will be, will be finished, which give me plus two uh, plus two BC per each, uh, the planetary stock exchange will be finished on a few planets. The number will go up again. Right now it sort of looks bad, but that that'll change. Actually, talking about that, let's actually put the stock exchange here first, and then the administration, then the cooling. Because these Astro Universities and all the uh, and, and all the other advanced buildings cost a lot. Yeah, I know I have a deficit. I talked about that already. I think I'll be doing fine. There's a lot of planets who are just uh, about to finish buildings that actually give me money. I hope. 
Let's see about that. Maybe we run into financial collapse now. That would be fun. But I doubt it. Alright, you got troop transports. Just go here. Alright. Continue. I still have an... I, I still be worried a little bit about the money, but I can always increase taxes again because I think I have the taxes at a historic low, but still people are complaining about it. <sighs> still my money's going down. Don't like it. What's going on there? I really didn't talk about that building too much because I'm not entirely sure what buyout costs minus 20% does. It would be really nice if this would be sort of uh, reduce the general maintenance cost on this planet by minus 20%. Then it would actually be nice. What I think it does if you rush build something, which I think the game calls buyout, then you have to pay less when you do that. But to have a maintenance cost of 3 for a building that you might use like... Three, four, five times in, in the entire game. Nope. No, thank you. Uh, so, there's that. I don't really need that. I don't really need you to do anything else. And the interplanetary um, uh, st uh, stuff isn't, isn't really done yet. So, you can build a radiation shield, I guess. And this, bu th this building is also useless because it improves security, which... Uh, also helps against spies, but again, you don't have spies, so, um, there's that. I guess you can build, well, I guess you can build a few more destroyers. While you wait for Ramon 4 to finish with the, uh, interplanetary administration. Research. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Yeah, hyperdrive is just a better drive. Hyper-X capacitors is a little weird. It's a subsystem that you can... Uh, that, that you can uh, build into ships which in the past used to be able to make you fire twice a turn but only once unless you gave it a, a full turn to recharge which was crazy with energy weapons um, however that that's not what it does the description says that it allows the ship to strip down the modules and reduce the space required to equip uh, energy weapons I don't think it does anything at this point I I tested it with ships and building ships with HyperX capacitors and without HyperX capacitors and just add beam weapons. And I don't think it actually changed anything. Just it used a lot of space for the HyperX X capacitors that could have been used for other subsystems. So I'm not sure this does anything. What I think this should do is actually reduce the uh, the uh, uh, amount of uh, delay that, that energy weapons have before they can fire again. So that, that would be similar to how they used to be and sort of make sense and have a benefit. Just reducing space for a system that also takes up space is always a difficult proposition because you need to really carefully balance it out if, it, if it's actually worth the space that you could have just sunk into more more energy weapons to begin with. So I'm not really sold on the HyperX capacitors. But if you don't trust me, I can actually just uh, just uh, check it out in the uh, in the ship construction stuff again with the new Titans because I would like to build a new Titan design anyway. I can't click this upgrade button for some reason. Also can't cl can't click this. I can't still click that. Okay, strange. Uh, any, any anyway, I don't want the better tr the last version of the drive. Uh, there's actually something here. Hmm. Well, auto lab is technically interesting. Do we get some more money here somewhere? Yes, let's actually get that. We get better weapons, and we get a building that increases our money by a lot, which I totally like. I don't need to upgrade colony ship, I think. Uh, well, okay, for only 7 BC it's okay. But let's actually take the last minutes of this episode to go and check out the HyperX capacitors if they actually do something. So let's actually, for testing purposes, let's, uh, let's remove all weapons on the ship. I want to build a new design here anyway, so let's actually remove everything. So... I'm also going to remove that and all that. So basically now we just have a ship with really not much in it. It still takes up 600 space for something. Not sure what, maybe the shield. The shield takes up 300. Okay, the sh sh shield takes up a little bit. 
I guess the drive also takes up a little bit, so there can be made some arguments for installing specific drives because they take up less space. But actually, the better drive takes up, t takes up less space. Kind of nice. Um, so right now we only have a ship with a drive and a shield and really not much else. Okay, let's uh, let's just fill up the ship with uh, energy weapons. Just for comparison purposes, I'll just um, like to, what, what what would uh, what would qualify as energy weapons. Not sure if the mass driver actually counts as energy weapons because technically they're a they're a projector weapon and stuff. So let's actually just take neutron blasters for this for this comparison. So I'm going to be filling the ship off with the neutron blasters. Let's see how many how many neutron blasters we can fit on the ship, which is actually quite a lot. So let's do this shit. I'm gonna have to have to click the button a little bit. I'm sorry. Just that the that it isn't changed by any modifiers that may not work. Just let's include standard neutron blasters here. We could technically include 119 of them. All right, so that's that. And we can we can do 119. The ship would be almost full now. We have 119 neutron blasters. Good. Now let's do the same stuff with the hyper X capacitor, which supposedly reduces space. All right. We inc include that, and then we include. Um, Neutron blasters again. Let's see if we can actually get it to 119 again. I think we should arrive at a lesser number because they still take up the same amount of space that they were taking up before. So, what do we get? Du, 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 du. Oh no, we only have 106 now. So see that that doesn't seem to work at all. So hyper X capacitors I think are useless. Maybe I'm misreading this with energy weapons, what classifies as energy weapons, and maybe it actually does increase the refire rate, I don't know. But um again, not enough information here, so screw that. Let's actually just go with a standard layout. Let's let's include battle pots, let's include um hull let's include uh automated repair unit actually just because because it's fun. Uh, Titans really have a lot of potential subsystems, so you could probably fit in everything that you want to fit in. Uh, do we want to take an ECM jammer for that? Sure. Should have some some measure of defense against rockets. Ah, sure, sure. Let's take that. Let's also think about shoot capacitor. I want a shoot capacitor. Uh, sure, sure. We only have class three shields. I think they are not quite worthy effort put into that and let's also take structure analyzers well, I basically filled up almost half the space just with subsystems and I have some I don't want to go full energy weapons on this on this class because I actually want to have something different here I'd like them to be sort of carriers so they have a lot of fighters with them let's start with maybe 12 ish let's actually go to 14 heavy fighters and then let's add some more point defense weapons and maybe even a few offensive weapons so that the ship itself can also defend itself a little bit, but it's not um, it's not its main function. So let's add some point defense weapons, like 30 or something. And then let's also add some offensive weapons. Uh, again, let's take auto fire continuous. Doesn't have a targeting computer, but it has regular computers, so it should. Whoops, that's too much. Okay, can add some more point defense weapons. Ooh. That's actually quite quite a number of them. All right, so this is sort of carrier. Do I give it a different name? I'll just call it carrier. Not very creative today. I'm sorry. So this is that. So I think I demonstrated HyperX. I'm not entirely sure what it does, but that what it's supposed to be doing, judging from the dis from the d description text, it most assuredly doesn't. Anyway, in the next episode we'll continue here. I'll probably upgrade the designs for the destroyer and for the uh, battleships off screen, but uh, we'll see the results of that and how the how our uh, progress is going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.